Dome Sports Talk, worldwide, with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, what has turned out to be a great night of boxing, um, George Grove can now say he's the WBA super welterweight, uh, super middleweight champion of the world. He defeats Feder, uh, Feder Chudinov by six round stoppage. You know, a barrage, Chudinov just didn't answer, right? This is pretty, pretty significant. George Groves, it was his fourth try at a title. Most people don't get that many. We talked about it, you know, but he came in there and he withstood a guy that was very strong and not only uh, physically, you know, his will, you know, he has that pressure on you constantly. Uh, George Grove had to do this masterpiece on the back foot, especially a few of those, those first four or five rounds, right? He was on the back foot most of the time of this fight. And he had to take a lot of blows and constant pressure. But he landed in nice counters and he initiated some offense at times. But uh, to see him do this, you know, and he got cut in round four. Some more adversity, you know. So from George Grove's point of view now, after the Edward Rutknecht thing, right, which is probably weighing, you know, a little heavy on him. You know, he, had, he went to visit the guy. The guy probably never will be the same, right? You're going into that. You've been to these uh, to this point again, right? Or before, and you came up short. You know, you on your home turf, not exactly the home turf, but you're in England. The other guy's coming away from Russia, so the pressure was on George Grove, and he, uh, you know, he passed his test with flying colors. Uh, it's you know, you're kind of happy for him. You know, I wasn't going for him before. I gotta be honest with you guys. Uh, because of what a fe uh, Fedor Chudinov has been through with the Felix Storm thing and not getting the title, I would have hoped for him to win the fight, you know, because, you know, give him something. Show him that you something. But George Groves was also, you know, he was in it with his whole heart. This was it for him, you know. So he came and he done the work. Him and Shane McGuigan came up with a good game plan, executed, and uh, it was a nice job. You know, so this puts George Groves in a good position. He's accomplished his goal. He is the WBA super middleweight champion, the real one, right? Which is good. So now that fight with James DeGale, there's nothing more standing in the way. You know, they're both champions now. He has a win over James DeGale, which sells the fight. And y'all know that England is popping anyway, right? So I know uh, the Kell Brook, he didn't win his fight. So he's probably down. But George Groves is having a good night, right? He achieved his goal. That's a great feeling for someone, especially after going there three times, coming up short, but against elite fighters, or very, very good ones, depending on your opinion. So he knew he had the pedigree. He knew he had the talent. You know, so you never know if it, when, when boxers go to too many trainers, at some point, you got to look at yourself and say, they ain't no trainers all the time. You know, it could be you. But him and Shane McGuigan seem to have got the formula to at least beat Chudinov. Do will he beat James Gell? We will address that when the, you know things get a little bit further. But first of all, foremost, congratulations to George Grove for achieving his goal and fighting out of, with adversity against a pressure fighter and coming through that fight. That's big time stuff. So we got a great fight coming ahead. I'm pretty sure. Uh, that unification match between those two in England is where they're going to go with this because, like I say, it's going to be uh, a financial success in England for sure. So let's see what's happening. Congratulations, George. The Saint. All right? The Saint handled his business. Dome Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm about here.